Push day. How we doing? Get the deep stretch here. Remember to push through by bringing your biceps together so you can really feel it in your chest versus your triceps and shoulders. That's one of the things I have to work on constantly. Can't overstate the importance of the mind-muscle connection. Isolating. To really hit the target muscle. I decided to record the last set this week, so I'm just giving you an idea of what I'm doing to reach failure. So, uh, taking a couple breaths here. Before I get back to it, try to crank out another three reps or more. But I like the minimum of three. And slow, e- concentric, or eccentric. And the more explosive, concentric, pushing up. Lighten the weight and drop sets is something I do on a normal good good way to really get the most out of it. Uh, fresh from that first rep, so go heavier. And so as I move to second and third set, I may have to drop the weight incrementally, which is easy enough to do. It doesn't take much time with dumbbells. Another benefit of using dumbbells. Another cue that I use for this exercise is like you're hugging. You want your shoulders, your elbow, and your hands in line. Really good stretch at the bottom really expand that chest and squeeze with chest bring your biceps together not so much pulling and pushing with your hands but squeezing using your pecs Added a few exercises on my push routine. This is one here. So catch your breath. Try to crank out some more. Remember it. The importance of that bottom movement. So you don't want to drop the weight unless you have to control it all the way down. like that.
audio issue. So some of the keys I use for the bench press is remember to keep the elbows flared a little. And as you come down, you come away from your head and your wrist will naturally turn in a little. Keeping a proud chest and that your shoulders retracted. Keeping them pinned down and take them out. This exercise just want the chest and make your shoulders feel a lot better too. And so with the dumbbells, you can get a deeper stretch at the bottom where the bar would be touching your chest. Not an issue here. So lateral raises for the shoulders. And I guess I could have had the camera up a little higher. I'm going higher on the raises. Um, I haven't seen a reason really not to. I haven't experienced any pain. So to get a, a full range of motion, I go higher than my shoulders. And switch out the dumbbells. Uh, 15s and 10s. I've been able to get like 10 or re 10 reps or so before I have to drop down. This is the only one that would be four sets on. So this would actually be the fourth set here. And it, I do higher reps, so 15 to 20 reps for the shoulders. And my phone going off. shoulders you can spam them a little more so I'll go four four sets everything else three sets With these bilateral movements, I have to be really conscious of uh, dominant right arm trying to take over the exercise. I got my head so I really focus on using my left arm to make sure they're working as close to equally as possible.
These are great to get that stretch. I'm going to take a couple few breaths and try to get some more. Tension when it's at the bottom stretch position. With the, again, the uh, eccentric lower and a more explosive movement on the concentric. Try to get a little bit more in that stress position, but I'm pretty gassed. Pop a few more.
again, you want to push yourself uh, to failure. You don't have to do it uh, every exercise, but just to maximize. Um, I do it on the last set, so the third set for me, or fourth on shoulder. I'm always trying to maximize to get the biggest bang for my buck. The most I can with the time I spend in there. Maximum efficiency. drop the weight here a little bit as I start to fatigue on the third set and drop it again Catch breath and do a couple more. 